Well, hello there. It's Mr. Scary Muffin, or should I say Professor Scary Muffin. Um, the Oraz Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire demo came out for us plebeians today, and so I thought I would do a quick run-through of this. This is going to be a blind run. I have no idea what's going on, and um, I'm just going to play it as it is. I'm only... Oh, it's not... I'm only going to record the top screen for this. Hopefully nothing important happens on the bottom screen, but we'll see. Oh my goodness. We are... wow. Spoon riding. That nutty ass. Now I have to say, um, the third, fourth generation of Pokemon I wasn't completely a big fan of, so hopefully me being older now will help me um, appreciate this a bit more. So some of these characters that you guys may recognize, I don't really recognize that much. As uh, this is Moss Deep City. So this demo is supposed to run 20 minutes. I'm gonna try to go through it as quick as I can without digging around too much as I used to do. Um, just to give you guys an idea of what's going on, I'm gonna be playing it a lot because apparently you can be earning some stuff uh, from this so if I see something interesting I'll be sure to record it for you guys uh, so you guys can see it as well you won't get my initial reactions but whatever it's gonna be Professor Oak it whoa it's team magma oh quite stunning male specimen <laughs> he's a beautiful man that Steven why is my name Orlando? Why couldn't it be Florida or Miami? I get to select a Pokemon. So I'm definitely going to be selecting... Oh my goodness, I get to get an evolved version. Marshtonk! Let's do it! Definitely going to be taking Marshtonk. Um, I was planning to do the run-through of the game when I get the game uh, using Mudkip, but people are convincing me to Wonder Trade everything. So I'm going to do a Wonder Lock Challenge, and I'm also planning to... Uh, stream myself playing through this, and I want to play through this. I'm going to try to play through it in one single setting, uh, sitting. I'll try to beat the game as fast as I can. Oh wow, this... You guys can't see the interface down below, but this looks pretty neat. Uh, so there's a Poochiana. I'm just going to hit him with my stab move. Oh, the animations! Oh, that looks just like the XY animation. And he's dead. Or knocked out. And returns to the trainer! That's a lot of damage I did with the waterfall. Yeah, I'm pretty speechless too myself. And let me explain why. You're already too late. The Mega Evolving Pokemon. Oh no! Mega Evolution has gone down to third generation. It's like time travel is taking new technology back to old places. Oh, it's this guy. No, wait. This is just <laughs> young Steven. This is just generic scientist. Team something or other. <laughs> okay. I have a couple of friends. They started a website. Um, these are friends I met through Pokemon friends, and they they run like the Team Magma uh, community, which is kind of cool community as well. And they dress up as Team Magma members uh, for some of the tournaments. It's pretty neat. So shout out to Gabby. They do like a podcast kind of stuff as well. Um, okay, so ooh, there's like a little BuzzFeed, news BuzzFeed in the bottom. That's kind of cute. So there's a bunch of stuff, blah, 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 blah. We're just going to go straight and talk. Yeah, let's go. I'll do this exploration stuff on my own later on. I just want to get through this demo really quickly. Oh, yeah, Latias flying. We're soaring above this. This makes me think of like Final Fantasy um, 6 kind of style thing. Mode 7 sailing across the world kind of things. It's kind of like very old school Japanese RPG. And now we enter the real world. Oh, why is this so far away? Our controls are pretty good. And we found them! Ridiculous! Team Aqua. Now, if I had to choose between Team Plasma, or not Team Plasma, Team Magma or Team Aqua, just based on their costume alone, I would say Team Aqua is a lot better. Their, their pirate costume looks a lot cooler and more, um, how do you say, practical. 
these hoodies, they block peripheral vision. When you turn your head inside them, like the hoodies themselves don't really turn, so yeah. Not exactly the best if you're trying to run some kind of criminal organization. Can't even see to your left and right. And wow, what's with the arms? They look like groups. <laughs> Backgrounds looks pretty cool though. Oh, do I have like a turtle shell backpack? That's pretty neat. I don't have any ice moves. Oh, I do have rocks. Throw rocks! Rock on! But yeah, Wonderlock's gonna be interesting. Um, should be neat. I, I mean, I don't really care too, too much one way or another. Um, Pokemon's Pokemon. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find an easy way to get through. I think some Pokemon I'll probably keep uh, if they're rare stuff or like once per game kind of stuff. Um, I'm probably going to play the version of Pokemon where I'll get Groudon during the story mode because I would probably want to soft reset over and over again to get a good Kyogre and if I was going to do it in one sitting, I would probably want to um, reserve the <laughs> soft resetting stuff to not stream. You know, so cute. Just a ceramic little camel. What are you doing to me? So yeah, I'm definitely looking at these Pokemon right now. I'm going like, wow, I don't really remember that much from this generation at all. So a lot of these Pokemon, I look at him like, he looks like he's made out of sand. So I'm going to hit him with a water attack. I don't hope he's ground type. I'm here to protect Pokemon. <gasps> There's a girl? Maybe... We're the destined to be together. You jerks. <laughs> Stripes are cool, man. <laughs> oh, no, the midriff. What? Another brat? We would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. And your Pokemons too. Kind of animation's kind of cool. I kind of wish, because you know, when you see your, your character, right? Your character actually um, is a 3D model and he animates, whereas all your enemies are 2D models and they don't animate. It kind of sucks. I mean, there is a lot of, um, in XY alone, there already are several different outfits and stuff like that, so th those things are already rendered in 3D. Um, I can't imagine it be that much more memory to... If you're not going to use it, at least do some mix and match, and then allow these different outfits to be your customization options. I don't know. Just thought. Twenty-fifth highest grunt. You're still going to get one shot, and you know that, right? I'm gonna hit you with the water attacks you like so much. That midriff. And shoulders, but with like armbands. Kinda weird. Oh, it's a water Pokemon. Uh, so this one is a dark water, I'm guessing. Um, these aren't gonna hit it very hard. Just gonna hit him with this and hope he doesn't have levitate. Blech. Okay, I guess I still knock out everything in a single hit. I think they do that on purpose. They don't want you to potentially actually lose a fight. I bet you if I hit them with anything, he would have died. I'm gonna try. We're gonna try to hit into a resistance next time. <gasps> I'm evolving. Marsh tom, marsh tom, marsh tom, marsh tom. I don't like this new evolution animation. Like in the first generation, you can see what he was going to be evolving into, and this matters for certain ones where they have like two different kind of evolutions that they might become into. Um, and so, like, if they're not evolving into the correct one, you're like, oh, whoops, let me just cancel that evolution. Like Eevees, for example. Oh man, can you imagine when you wanted Sylveon and you got like an Espeon instead? Jeez, terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna be writing your name in my diary. Thank you. Thank you for rescuing me. I like this turtle backpack thing. Just gosh darn people in red and blue. 
worst colors ever. And she runs away. Alright, so, um, this is like Maxi or these like admins here. You there, oversized brute. <laughs> Little Mahita man. So these guys got 3D models, so hopefully, that's Tabitha? What? <laughs> And now they find a common enemy. <laughs> hey, instead of doing a manly battle between two evenly matched foes, let's pick on this little kid. Orlando. Oh, Steven's here. Haha, -ha. sorry it took me so long to walk the same path that you did. No, I wanted to learn Keep Protect. Protect's an amazing move. Oh, I gotta make an evolution watch. The bracelet. Mega Evolution, I think, was a really cool mechanic that they added into the game. I think it was a really smart decision. It made like a lot of previously unusable Pokemon more usable. So basically, you kind of got new Pokemon without actually getting new Pokemon. I thought that was a really good idea. Design wise, that way you don't have to like release new Pokemon, you just bring back old ones and give them new forms. Um, and that's especially good for our Ruby Sapphire because we're probably not going to get any new new Pokemon, but instead we're going to just get uh, new Megas. And then they have like the the revival, I, I don't know, whatever the evolution is for the uh, Groudon Kyogre, the revert reversion thing. Camera and Sharpedo. <laughs> Okay, so we promised we're gonna hit into resistance, but I'm pretty sure this guy will definitely survive this time. But we're just gonna do it anyway. Oh, Mega Lucian. I'm gonna Hydro Cannon into the Sharpedo. Let's see if I knock him out in one hit. Now, I'm only four levels ahead of him, so I don't know. Yeah! Me mega Gross. <laughs> oh god, it's so gross. Alright. I heard you like the Mud Keeps. Oh, I'm definitely going to nickname all my Pokemon before I Wonder Treat them away and give them something, like, silly. It's going to be definitely hilarious. Giga Pack. Oh, total miss. Crunchy. And he crunches into the resistance. Be beautiful. Oh, no, that's super effective. Okay, I obviously don't know what I'm talking about. I guess Steel types don't resist Dark anymore. And... Oh, wow. Not under... I uh, still did a lot of damage. <gasps> <gasps> Looks like it's all up to me now. So he's gonna go first. Oh wait, I only... Oh, okay, I see. Hydro Cannon is a two-turn attack, I think. I have to recharge. Oh, rough skin instead of speed boost. What a noob. What a scrub. Uh-oh, this is gonna be dangerous. So, Metagross is down, I get one turn to attack, which is going to waterfall him. And that should guarantee the KO. Hey, oh. I can also ground attack it too, if I really wanted to. I don't know if I like this, um, the new... On the bottom screen, they have a slightly different HUD now. And it's very, car like, like a cartoon POW bubble kind of thing. I like the, the XY one a lot better, it's very clean and use the space very well. Really? You can be proud of that kind of loss? You are the worst player ever. <laughs> Maxi! Yeah, I think some one of uh, the people they, they cosplay as Maxi. And we just let them walk away. Halt! Criminal! What do you think of my Metagross? I don't know. thought it was kind of gross. You're kind of gross, Steven. And now we get to meet the Megas! 
So I think in this one you get to choose between Galay or um, Steelix. And personally, I think I'm going to go with the Steelix because uh, I'm completely basing my decision off of what I know from the card game. And according to the card game, Steelix is better. Um, I haven't seen a good Galay card, so... I obtained some balls! Instant battle! No, it's a Galay. Never mind. I never wanted this. So I wonder if... So it's gonna be... Ghost... Steel, maybe? I think? Or, no, is it Ice Steel, maybe? I don't know, I'm gonna hit it with a Water Attack anyways. It's gonna do neutral damage, I think. Either way. Yeah, it's Ice Steel. Okay, I should resist this. Or maybe it's neutral against me, because I think I'm Ground-type. Ground Water. Wow, okay. So I'm kind of afraid if I hit it with the Mud Bomb, it might go down. Because this might be, like, a million times weakness. I could be wrong. I'm not very good with my with my thumb. Oh my god, I flinched. Quick, throw the balls. Someone said that it, it's kind of stacked in your favor. So, oh my gosh, it's such a huge Pokemon. You see how tiny this ball was? Oh my gosh, how big is this Pokemon? It's like the size of a car. It has to be. Easily. Like, like a smart car. is the first thing. I don't know if you guys ever saw Wizard's Deer Reader. I just watched it today. A friend of them showed me and, and it just, just just stuck out to me. Okay, so we got that now. Sweet. And we just walk through the grass without any problems. Well, we're here to protect the Pokemon. By protect, I mean capture them in the ball and put them safely away inside of a computer network so that nobody can ever see or do anything to it ever again. Such a beautiful story. And that is the story of Pokemon. I'm a terrible person. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Primal reversion. That's what I'm talking about, so... That's the other thing. I wonder if there some of the legendaries will get that. And then we pan upwards, and that is the end of the demo. Yes. Oh, look at this trailer. Oh yes, the special bikes! I forgot about that. You have uh, two bikes you can choose. One is like a really, really fast bike, and then the other one is like a tricks bike. I'm totally gonna get the bike that lets you do tricks. Because that's so much cooler. I could do like hops and stuff like that. Now I can transfer this to my full game. Cool. You can set up for another round of fun. I totally will do that. I'll probably do that off camera. And if I see anything neat, I will show you guys. Um, but I'm pretty sure you guys can also eventually will be able to get this yourself and play it. Uh, or you might already have gotten it. So I hope you guys enjoy this, guys. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me. Until next time. Take care. Bye.